This is our second video in the help videos for ArcGIS Explorer use with Island County data. In this video we're going to talk about how to download the Island County parcel shapefile off our website, save it locally, extract the files from a zipped folder, and then use them to upload ArcGIS Explorer. Now I've previously opened up ArcGIS Explorer and now we're going to work on downloading the data. So we're going to click on the ArcGIS Explorer and GIS Files link. And from here we're going to click on the Island County Parcels. We're going to want to save this locally so that we can then upload it to our machine. So we're going to save as, and I would recommend putting it somewhere you can find it again. I'm going to put mine on the desktop and I'm going to create a new folder just called ArcGIS Explorer data and then in here I'm gonna save it. Now it's gonna take it a little while to download it and once it does we're gonna get a pop-up window to open it up. So now that the file is done downloading we're gonna open up the folder and you'll see that it has a little zipper on it. That means it's a zipped file. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna say extract all files and then we're going to save them in this ArcGIS Explorer data folder. And then we're going to have show extracted files when complete. So go ahead and hit extract. And now here's the files that we're going to be able to upload into ArcGIS Explorer. So opening this up, I'm going to go to add content and scroll down to a shape file. Now I'm going to go find where I had saved that locally. I put mine on the desktop in the ArcGIS Explorer data. And there should be my one option for a shape file of Island County parcels. So go ahead and click open and it'll take it just a second for it to load and then zoom in to Island County. Now that my parcels have uploaded, I'm going to click on the little arrow and I wanted to change this symbol so I click on the symbol and then I'm gonna right click scroll down to symbol and then I'm gonna go from a solid fill to an outline fill so that I can see the outline but also work with the aerial. And the last step you're gonna wanna do is save this map so that you don't have to continuously add content. I'm gonna save this as my default map so I'm gonna go down to save as and then my default map. And now every time I click on the ArcGIS Explorer icon on my desktop, it's going to open up this map. Something to think about is on the website where you downloaded this, you can scroll down to the bottom and see when this was updated. So this is fairly recent and it probably won't be done for the next few months. There should be somewhere between 10 and 20 map changes per update. So just something to think about. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how to use some of these tools in ArcGIS Explorer with the data.